whether you have found deep faith or you're very skeptical about it, whether you know God or you don't want to know Him, I think this is a video for you. Hello world, my name is Artemis and I welcome you to this channel. This is a space for anybody who's looking to reinvent their life. This is not a regular type episode, so check out some of the other content. Uh, tell me what you think. There is a thumbs down button somewhere underneath the video, so find that and click it if you hate my videos. But if you like them, and I hope you like them, I hope that they can do something for you. I hope you can find the motivation you need to start asking yourself some questions. There are like 10 things that you can start changing even today. For starters, it can be sharing this video with people who you think need to hear the message of reinventing. Today I'm starting something new on this channel. I'll be reviewing books that I've read, that have spoken to me, that have motivated me in hopes to uh, to pass that message on to you. So today I'll, uh, I'll start with um, this book called Letters to the Church. Let me read from the, their official website. It's letters to the church book.com. This is a book by Francis Chan. Um, God's church started as a radical, spiritually intimate gathering of believers. Before you run away hearing these words, I really think you should stay because even though this book was written by a pastor and it was written to uh, church leaders and to, to believers, this book really deeply deals with some of the questions that come up in conversations with, with people who are skeptical about church or skeptical about God. So I hope you can stick around and listen to my, my thoughts on this. Let me just read through this once again. God's church started as a radical, spiritually intimate gathering of believers that ultimately changed history. Yet millions today are content to be mere observers at church. Many more have left brokenhearted and cynical. But God is waking up His people, people who will risk anything and sacrifice everything to be the dynamic world-changing church of Scripture. Speaking out of a great love for the church, the writer challenges his readers to look again at God's magnificent vision for what church has to be. A vision that we may have strayed from, but God has never forgotten. It's an amazing book with some really deep questions that, that, that leave you asking yourself, why? It deals with topics like obviously the church, our idea of the church, uh, the idea and the substance of faith, how far can faith take you or how deep your faith is. So like I was saying, the book is definitely written for the Christian, for, for a mature Christian too. For a Christian that is uh, already asking himself questions about his faith, about, about the, the condition of the church in this 21st century. But, but, I really think that anybody who is a skeptic about church, about faith, about God, should read this book. So Francis Chan to begin with is a character, you really should look him up. He's an amazing guy with a great story, he's got some amazing insight into life, into, into church. And the questions that he presents in this book are really some of the same ones that non-believers or skeptics use when they argue against the church. You're right, there are things that the church there are plenty of things that the church does that should not be there. There are plenty of things that Christians do that give really bad testimony. There are uh, uh, countless examples, yet you only see the bad examples. What about the great ones? And this book deals with some amazing examples of faith under pressure, of faith in, the, in, the, in times of persecution, great persecution. Um, in today's day and age, this is not something that happened many, many years ago. Any Christian that is honest with himself can look around and see that the arguments are pretty valid. The church as we know it today has become an establishment and no longer the movement that it had originally been set up as by Jesus himself. Why is it that the system that we've created and that is confined within the walls of churches. Why is it that we are so adamant about teaching that as we go into countries where Christianity is persecuted, where Christians are killed? Why do we want to teach them about doing church our way when our way hasn't really exactly worked out for the great majority of Christians? There are so many people that left disillusioned from the church by the bad examples of, of, of teachers and preachers and, and, and uh, just fellow Christians. See, whatever we call ourselves, Christians, 
atheists, agnostics, whatever, it doesn't really matter because there are some real questions that we have to ask ourselves. And if we're honest with ourselves, and if we're ready to answer those questions in our heart, then I really believe that those questions can bring us to a realization of our place in, in this life, our uh, role in this world, our position as for, uh, our position before God and before the church. So that is my short review of Letters to the Church by Francis Chan. Really a powerful book. Read it only if you're serious and you're ready to start answering questions. So until next time, until I review another book, or do something different on this channel, like, dislike, comment below, tell me what you thought about all this. Hope to see you back again really soon.